the Richard A. Dano Award. Now, the Dano Award was created by the chapter in 1994. It honors Dick Dano, a longtime Hilton sales representative, a career-long member of PCMA, a dear friend to his peers, his customers, and his competitors as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dick unfortunately passed away in 1994 at the far too young age of 64. This is a, an award that's presented in loving memory and to honor the work he had done uh, from a gracious and generous chapter and is given to a generous supply partner who provides leadership by mentoring and demonstrates integrity and shows consistent respect for colleagues. Now there's folks who have lined up to uh, talk about our winner. Let me just go through a few here. Uh, Dion Halsey of Tourism Montreal says, one of my favorite stories about her involves a sales mission she organized in the Cleveland area. She was driving a van full of Canadian partners. By the way, that could be illegal, driving a van full of Canadian partners. <laughs> Driving, you must have your papers. Driving a van full of Canadian partners to appointments over a three-day period. At one point during the trip, one of the women was whining constantly that she had to go to a DSW shoe store. They were on a tight schedule. Well, if you've been to Canada in February, God bless all of you, but a DSW shoe store could be a good time. That's all. That's all we're saying. It's a, uh, no, hey, it's a beautiful country. I love Canada. Wow, you guys really took me seriously there for a second. No, no, I really do. I love Canada. I, I, it's interesting that a DSW shoe anecdote would turn into an insult for Canada. You're completely misunderstanding the story. Roll with me. I love Canada. I got a place in Edmonton. You're all welcome anytime. At any rate, the DSW shoe woman, right? She sees a DSW shoe store, demands the van stop. Stop the van. There's the shoe store. They pull off the road. They throw their schedule out the window completely. She goes into the shoe store. She spends 20 minutes looking all over. She bought nothing. <laughs> and then they got back in the van because she couldn't find anything in her size. And yet, our winner didn't choke her. On the uh, same sales mission the following day, running late for appointments, there was no time for lunch. They ended up going through a McDonald's drive through Brian Heil from Fairmont was sitting in the front seat as our award winner was driving. This is pre-GPS. She refused to stop as she drove, and Brian Heil from Fairmont broke her burger up into tiny bites and fed her as she steered. <laughs> Dawn Annis, formerly of the CTC, says she had worked with our winner for over 16 years, and everything she does in her career and personal life is done with great energy and enthusiasm. Her clients are very important. She responds quickly to their needs with great knowledge of her product. Uh, Melanie, uh, oh, you weird name. Melanie is a customer service oriented woman, which in today's world does, in fact, seem to be a lost art. Jennifer Summers, you may recognize Jennifer, looks much like Vanna here on stage right here. Yeah. Says, I'll never forget Melanie taking me under her wing at the very first PCMA annual meeting in 98. I was the only rep from my hotel, and having not attended such a large greeting or gathering before, I ran into Mel on a Sunday morning at registration. She made me feel completely welcome, asked if I had selected my seat for dinner, and uh, insisted that I sit with her, introduced me to everybody. She's incredibly smart. I've tutored her horn every chance I can, and have talked up Canada. My favorite country, people. <laughs> So Jen loves her, I love her, and Rachel Nocera says, I met Melanie in 95 when I was with Smith Buckland and she rec uh, represented Canadian Pacific Hotels. Always made me feel comfortable and welcome, open minds, listens, shares ideas, and is always willing to try to make everyone around her better while she does an exemplary job all the time. So with all these people falling all over themselves to say how wonderful our award winner is, let's congratulate GMC PCMA's Dick Dano Award winner, Melanie Caronda. Melanie! Oh, wow. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> what, a, what an honor. When I was first contacted about this award in October, I never thought I'd be standing here before you today. I was excited, honored, and humbled all at the same time. I'm probably one of a handful of people in this room who remember Dick Dano. He stood for everything great about our industry. He was taken too soon from us, but his loyalty, friendship, and warm hospitality will never be forgotten. 
His lesson is one that I feel I must impart to all of you in the room. Stay the course, do a great job, be kind to each other, and take care of one another. And that's, that's something that Dick Dano would do. This is the best industry in the world, and I want to thank the nominating committee for their generosity. When I started out in this industry, I wanted to make a difference and flourish professionally. I want to thank all the people who got me to where I am today. I couldn't have done it without the Canadian Tourism Commission. Their support and commitment to our industry has always been constant. I want to thank my boss, Michelle Saran, and my coworker, Lou Macaluso, for their support and friendship over the years. With our Canadian partners, uh, Canadian tourism is something that could not exist without them. And the Canadian partners in this room, you all know who you are. I want to thank you for all your support over the years. I want to thank my parents who demonstrated work ethic. My dad is no longer with us. My mom is still around, but she can't travel anymore. And then there are my, my wonderful crazy sisters. Uh, all five, all four of them are here today. There's five of us. And um, being the youngest of five girls, my sisters practically raised me. They are all here with me today. I'm very blessed. And I would not be who I am today without them. They are my heroes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And by the way, their names are Joanne, Audrey, Charlotte, and Marianne. See, I remember. <laughs> my brother-in-laws are here. My niece is here. Uh, I just want to thank you for being here today. There is a kind, wonderful man in my life. He brings joy and peace to me on a daily basis. My, my lovely man, Stance Robinson. And I have a lot of friends in the room. Heidi, Lana, Dawn, thank you so much again for being here today. I really appreciate it. Now, this is the most important part of my speech. I want to dedicate this award to my daughter, Hillary. I can't tell you how many birthdays I've missed, how many nights I wasn't home because I was on the road. And, you know, she grew up uh, a lot of time on her own without me. She flew in special last night from New York so she could be here today. She is my motivation, my reason for fighting cancer, and my hope for the future. Hillary, this award is for you. Thank you.